box. Eight and a quarter. Seven eighths. Eight and a quarter. Seven eighths. Ah, seven eighths. Mommy said seven eighths. Son, don't listen to your mother. It's mine and I know how long it is, okay? And what's wrong with you anyway? Are you okay, honey? I don't know. I think I have butterflies like in my stomach. Are you sure? Butterflies or tapeworms? <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, those weren't tape ones. No, no. Is there something you want to tell us? <laughs> Fantastic! Let's go play! That's me! You're worried because I told you I'd like to go out dressed in women's clothes someday. You always have to be the center of attention. This is your sister's big moment. Oh, that's you! You have a heart condition. You're upset because the doctor said you wouldn't survive beyond the age of 18. Ah, sweetie, I thought we said we wouldn't tell her that until she went off to college. You've fallen in love. You have a boyfriend. Oh, our little girl has gotten herself a boyfriend. It must be a boy from school. So what's he like? Is he tall? Is he fair-haired? Is he dark? He has incredibly white teeth. Mm -mm. It's a boy who wants to be a dentist? Nah, come on. It's obviously a set of false teeth. Does this little guy wear dentures? He likes to play baseball with his daddy. Uh, and he got hit right in the teeth. That's why he wears dentures. Oh, you met this boy on the bus. The number 81. The one that goes into town. 81 years old. You've fallen madly in love with an 81-year-old man. Yes, you got it. Oh, oh my God. God. Yeah. Wonderful. But wait. Uh... What were you thinking of, falling in love with some decrepit old coffin dodger? It's not any old coffin dodger, Grandpa. It's Paul, your best friend. My best friend, Paul? And does he know you're in love with him? No, I still haven't told him, but I want to get married to him. I absolutely forbid you from marrying Paul. Besides, he doesn't have any money. Or real estate. And there's the whole 81 years old thing, too. I'm sorry, everyone. It's too late. Hi, everybody. <coughs> 